All right, greetings class. This is Professor Brown again, CST 158, with a walkthrough for Lab 11. And in this lab, we're going to be uh, working in Linux on doing some encryption, some file encryption and file decryption, as well as do an introduction to IP tables, which is the host-based firewall in Linux systems. So it's a real fun class. It's all on the command line, which I absolutely love. Uh, let's take a note right here that we're starting at 11, 12 a.m. And let's go ahead and get started. All right. All right. So I need to go to NetLab and log in. And do a new lab reservation. Go into your 158 class. Uh, go to this one here. This is under a lab 11. All right, so I should only need about maybe a half an hour for this one. So 36 minutes should suffice me, but I can always add additional time if I wanted to. So, and say go to uh, 1230. Now give me an hour. That's fine. And I'm going to enter the lab. Wait for that to launch. Which shouldn't take too much time. Um, so this one, again, the commands. Uh, of course, you cannot cut and paste from the lab manual into NetLab, which kind of stinks. But this is good practice. So... Uh, it's just two sections today, the open SSL encryption and the IP tables, uh, depending on what version of uh, Fedora we have, if we have the latest version, we may get a couple of warnings, not errors, but warnings, uh, that our encryption that we're using, which is AES-256, uh, may be out of date. Uh, I'll look at updating that, <clears throat> but, uh, AES-256 is still a, a relatively good, strong encryption standard. All right, so we're set up here. Let's go ahead and get into the Fedora box and log in as root. And CST, CCC, 2019, bang. <clears throat> well, that's not good. Wait one second. All right, I was typing it wrong, or I, I was, I have problems with that CSD password for some reason. Uh, it is capital C, capital S, capital T, CCC, 2019, exclamation point. Anyway, let's get uh, rolling here. So we're going to make a directory uh, called Projects2. you type everything else right then we'll go back to the root directory <clears throat> and make sure that it's there okay and next we're going to I'm on step three here we're going to create a text file with the VI editor in projects 2 called projects underscore B dot text Okay, <clears throat> that's going to open up VI Editor. We are going to hit I for insert. And then just type in some text. So uh, I'm going to put in a remark here. This is a test of the encryption uh, utility within Linux. Fedora. This is only a test. Okay. And just get a couple more remarks here. Just give it some data so it can encrypt it. Okay. 
we see that this text will be scrambled when encrypted and unscrambled when D. Okay, that's good. So when we're done, we're going to hit escape, colon, WQ bang, and I'll save it. Okay. <clears throat> so from here, let's go ahead and make sure we're in the projects folder. We can do that a couple of different ways. Oh, we're not. So let's go to and go into the projects folder. And we can see that projects underscore b.txt is there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use the open SSL command to encrypt that file. ENC is for encrypt. We're gonna tell it the encryption standard, which is AES 256. Blockchain. The in the input is going to be project underscore b dot txt, and you can tab complete if you want to do that. And our output is going to be our new file project underscore b underscore encrypted dot txt. You have to give it a password, so give it that CST CCC 2019 exclamation point. You have to type it in twice. Okay, this is where you get that warning. You can just uh, ignore that for now. So if you do a L, uh, LS, you see the two files, which is good. We're going to delete the original file with the remove command. So rm project to whack project underscore b dot txt. And then you hit y there to confirm. You see it's gone. All right. So I'm on step seven of that. Now we're going to go ahead and cat projects to project underscore B. And I just did a tab complete there. And you can see that we have all of the things are encrypted. So take a screenshot here. Snipping tool or whatever you're using to screenshot. copy so put that right under number nine eh, undo there we go and move on to number 10 so now we're going to decrypt the file so here let's go ahead and type in open SSL ENC dash D for decrypt AES 256 CBC you can tab complete that after you start typing project and then make the output file oh I goofed up that's okay <laughs> alright let's try that again 
Open SSL. I try to. I tend to go too fast. D crypt dash a e s dash two fifty six dash c b c dash i n project crypt dash out space project underscore b underscore encrypted.txt there you go and then you're going to be asked for that password type it in cst ccc 2019 bang and there you have it now if i do an ls you see that i have both the project decrypted as well as the project encrypted okay now let's take a cat of that decrypted file like that and take a screenshot here get your timestamp copy So that's it for the encryption decryption Pete portion. So now we're going to move on to um, <clears throat> the working with IP tables in this section here. So we're going to stay in Fedora. <clears throat> and uh, fortunately, everything is spun up. We're also going to be using the Windows 2019 static IP server. Okay. So let's uh, go over to it first and log in send control delete and we're just going to log in as administrator okay and we're going to pull up a command prompt as administrator cmd right click runs administrator all right And we're going to ping our Fedora server. That's the IP. There it is. 192.168.10.210. And you can see that we can ping it. So in this exercise, we'll go back to the Fedora server now. Uh, we're going to enter in a couple of lines of code to block ICMP traffic to the server. That is in number four. So. What we're going to do is type in IP tables dash capital A input all capitalized dash P for protocol little p ICMP space that's the protocol dash dash ICMP dash type space echo request space dash little j and this is what to do with it capital dro uh, drop all capitalized D R O P. okay so that is going to drop it without any type of message or warning hit enter i'm going to hit the up arrow and i'm going to cheat a little bit because the second command is very similar to the first command instead of input it's going to be output all capitalized All right, and instead of echo request, it is going to be echo reply. It's all about keystrokes, guys. All about keystrokes. All right. Once you do that, you can go back to your Windows server, hit up arrow, and try to ping it again. And as you can see, unsuccessful. Take a screenshot of the request timeout.
we go. And now from the terminal prompt on the Linux server, um, we are going to flush the rules. This is just kind of a cleanup step. Um, we also need to get the... Um, Oh, that's at the end. We'll get the clean up here at the end. No problem. So go back to Fedora. And we're going to type in uh, IP tables dash FLO. FTO, excuse me. Space flush space open paren remove rules. If I spell rules right, I wonder if I put the wrong command in there. I don't think I need to remove. You can just do the easy way and just do the dash F. That'll kill everything. There you go. All right. So down and dirty. <laughs> as long as you get it flush, that's fine. Take a screenshot of that. Put it in your lab manual. All right, and from here, your last step that you can do <clears throat> is go back to your Windows box, hit that up arrow again, and you should be able to now ping the server because the IP chains are deleted. They're flushed out of the system. Okay, so to wrap everything up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how long did it take us to complete this lab? I started at, what, 12 after? So 32 after, let's say about 20 minutes. Was the editor, what was the editor that we used? Well, we used the VI editor. That's my favorite editor. It's the oldest editor in Linux. Uh, true or false, you use the Dell command to remove a file in Linux. Oh, that's completely false. We use the RM command. And what was the command used to see if the Windows server was responding? Well, that's pretty easy. Um, the Windows server responded. It should be the Linux server. It was ping. And the protocol that was blocked by IP tables was ICMP, because ICMP runs ping. That's it. Pretty easy, pr pretty cut and dry. Sorry about the flush command, but um, the old tried and true dash capital F will kill everything in your IP tables. For instructional purposes, that'll work, but be careful using that in a, in a production device. So with that, uh, that's gonna do it for this week for Lab 11. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning into this, and good luck. We'll see you in week 12.